So for woodworking, we're going to have sharpening stones. I'm going to need to take care of them. Now, I don't know, there's so many different ways you can sharpen tools these days, sandpapers and water stones, diamonds, whatever. Um, Got to be honest, I pretty much use one stone for honing. That pretty much gets me done. And then a strop with a bit of metal polish on it. I quite like very simple stones as well. Um, the one I use most often is a Norton India stone. Um, the finer side of this, the orange, is about 400 grit. And the underside, the grey one, is, I don't know, maybe 150. Um, top is silicon car, uh, top is aluminium oxide. The underside is silicon carbide. This one will dish out, so I don't really use that side of it very much, mainly just this side. And it cuts quickly, and despite what you may think, you genuinely don't need to sharpen to much more than about 400 grit to get absolutely perfect results on 99% of what you would do. Um, I've got a stone here in Norton India that I picked up a little while ago. This is just a fine. Um, there's no, no combination part on it so I'll mount that one in a box soon um, it has got a bit of the original text still on it but what I love about these stones is they don't dish very much so yeah really good to keep them safe um, I was inspired to kind of copy this design here which is quite typical of um, traditional oil stone boxes and that's what I did so this was a hardwood one that I mortised out all quite straightforward stuff and then created an OG shape put on a couple of panel pins that I just snipped off, they're sharp, so when that pushes on the bench it grabs and it doesn't slide around when you're doing your honing, it stays dead in place. And um, then the other day I saw this one and I thought wow that looks just like mine, but what's better about this one is it's got a nicer stone in it, it's got a Washita stone which is a very popular kind of old school stone. Um, I just need to flatten it off a bit. It's not particularly dished, it's in pretty good shape. But where this differs from mine is it's got um, a couple of blocks let in on both ends and the view with these is that it allows you to allow the tool to run on a little bit further each time when you're sharpening it. You don't see it on every one, but I've seen it on quite a few stones that I've come across. But yeah, definitely looking forward to using it for this one. And I thought it was quite cool to have a couple in the collection that looked pretty much exactly the same. Um, so yeah, at some point I'll probably go ahead and make a box for this one, but you know, whatever sharpening routine you've got, take care of your stones because if you drop them, they'll break. And I don't think you can go too far wrong with choosing a traditional oil stone. This one cost me 20 pounds, I think, 20, 25 pounds on eBay. You know, quite often if you look for an attractive case, um, and there's a stone inside, it's going to be a good one. And I like the narrower stones, which are a little bit longer as well. Fantastic. And these Norton Indias are still available now. You can pick them up again for 20, 25 pounds. And if, if you sharpen your tools on these, it's going to be perfect for 99% of woodworking. Um, I don't quite buy into the super fine sharpening. If I do want a little bit of extra polish, and what I often do is... You can buy just metal polish, um, auto sole. I put that on a block of wood, and you can just lightly strop the edge of the tool to bring a bit more of a bit more of an edge to it. So yeah, take care of your stones, and um, don't forget oil stones. They're pretty good.